Here are the three things that you should be doing this fall if you plan on listing next spring. Hey, it's Peter with the Shabri Group at Keller Williams Seven Hills Realty, and I'm here to share with you the three things you should do this fall in anticipation of listing next spring. Task number one is lawn care. You know, the very first impression people have of your home when they pull up to it in the spring of next year is going to be your curb appeal and the lawn health matters. Seeding in October, fertilizing in November, and having a full six months of lawn care before peak season of next year makes a huge difference in the health of your lawn and ultimately that first impression. Second thing you should do this fall in anticipation of selling next spring is go ahead and start attacking that deferred maintenance list. We all have things that we see as homeowners and learn to unsee that we know we should fix, but just kind of live without having it quite right. So simple things, even like leaky faucets that you might have, cracked tiles, squeaky doors, that kind of stuff. Let's just get it done now uh, in the fourth quarter of the year, which is usually a slower time for all of us. And the third thing that you want to do is start the decluttering process. As we live in our homes, stuff just seems to multiply while we're not looking. Uh, and all that stuff makes our homes look busy and cramped and, and not spacious. And so taking the time now to start working room through room and decluttering and removing items that you no longer leave, maybe you give them to charity, maybe you give them to a family member or a friend that might value it. Get that process started now. It saves you a lot of heartache and stress later on. Now, if you're still watching the video, thanks for doing that. I'm going to give you a fourth tip if you're thinking of that you should do this year, this fall, if you're thinking about selling next spring, and that is simply to call me. A lot of time homeowners will start making improvements to their home that are not necessary to get their home sold. Sometimes we throw money into projects in our homes uh, that don't get the return that we're looking for in terms of maximum sales price. So please don't over engineer or over improve your home. Call me. I'll give you ideas on what you should and should not do to maximize the return on selling your home next spring. Talk to you soon.